almost essentially the same as her 13.3 in the qualifying round. Martina Dominici now of Argentina had a 13-2 in qualifying. She went into this rotation seventh all around. This is her best event. So an opportunity here to finish really strong. with a full in, pretty big hop back. Nice job on the Popa, the judges are looking exactly where their feet take off, the way they're facing and where they end up. Trying to get that switch full all the way around to get full credit for the more difficult loops. Oh, awkward landing there. Her chest was down, and when she rebounded, it just put her in a very awkward position. Kind of unusual to hear a human voice in the music, but it is okay to have a human voice in the music as long as there are no recognizable words. Finish on the pike double. Okay, good uh, routine. There were definitely landing Pizzo deductions, particularly on that middle pass. And depending on the angle where the judges are, because we're we're looking at it from Bones up above, ago, some of the things are harder for us to see. But all of the landings of her tumbling pass were just slightly off, so they will have to take minor deductions for those. Kathy, you know, one of my big takeaways from these games is just the improvement in the team from Argentina. Oh, absolutely. Really impressed with the quality of gymnastics for these young ladies. We were impressed in the team competition and to finish fourth in a very strong field. But they were so well prepared for this competition. They competed well. Everything has, has really elevated in their program. It's nice to see. In the history of the Pan American Games, they won a total of four medals in women's gymnastics compared to 145 for the U.S. program, 50 for Canada, 42 for Cuba, and 22 for Brazil. But the program on the rise in Argentina for sure.